just one setting to turn your Fuji into an awesome hybrid shooter. Uh, if you haven't tried this yet, I think you're going to dig it and it will help you with your workflow. Uh, so let me show you how to turn it on and how it works. Let me Let me start with the X-T3 here. It is a little bit different on the X-T4, but we'll dive into the menu setting. You're going to just scroll up to video settings and it's on the last page. So you're going to scroll down to page number five and movie silent control. And as you can see, I've already turned it on. Um, so once you've turned it on, you can back out here and this is where you now access your settings. So all your dials up top, your analog dials that you're used to using for video are no longer going to work. And this ultimately allows you to have your settings stay exactly how they are, uh, no matter what you do in photography. So for example, here you can see I'm at a 60th shutter speed, F4 and an ISO of one, 160. So if I click here, you just dial into the setting that you want and you just basically scroll up and down and then tab out. Um, you can control, you know, all these various functions right through this screen now. And then if I switch over just to show you, so if I switch over to photo, you'll now see that I'm at a 200th of a shutter speed, for example, an ISO 200 and I'll switch back to video. And now I'm staying, still within my 180 degree shutter rule where I'm, you know, shooting twice the shutter speed of my frame rate. And it's just so nice that you can switch back and forth so easily. Um, but let me show you real quick how to as well adjust it on the X-T4. Now this is a similar procedure. You're going to dive into the menu here and you're going to go up to your icon for video. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the second page and movie optimize control. And as you can see, I already have it on. And again, similar thing here where you just press and you can scroll through all the settings that you want. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention that um, I found this really helpful for as well is if you're filming yourself, uh, it makes it just so convenient to be able to tap on the screen and be able to change your settings as opposed to using your dials. I hope this feature helps you out. If you got any value of the video, please hit the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.